welcome Amanda from Poop Scoop, Utah. Thank you for joining me this morning. Um, thank you for being the first guest on my channel um, where I am trying to share other pet businesses in Utah who are doing great things for the community um, and people that I see around an awful lot in my line of work. Um, can you kick off things by telling us who you are and what your role is at Poop Scoop Utah? Yeah, um, my name is Amanda Simpkins. I am the marketing manager here at Poop Scoop Utah. Um, me and Kim actually met at one of the local dog events. Um, and you might have seen me at some of the dog events throughout Salt Lake Valley. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about me and my role here at um, Poop Scoop Utah. Can I ask you to elaborate on what you do as a marketing manager? Yeah. So I work on the social media pages. So when you see us posting on like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, that would be me. Um, I also help with the paid advertisement. So we've been doing like commercials through uh, streaming services. We just started that this year. And um, I do like the Facebook campaign. So if you see like an ad on Facebook, I help with that. And um, we also, you know, do the local dog events. Um, and I just kind of help with like the marketing material or anything marketing related. I kind of help and be a support uh, for that. So, yeah, that's a little bit about what I do in the background. Cool. That's a lot. That's a, there's a lot in the background that needs to be yeah. done in a small business. Um, in what ways does Poop Scoop Utah create value for pet owners um, and our local community here in Utah? Yeah. Um, so a lot of the clients that we service here at Poop Scoop Utah, um, we do get people that maybe are like disabled um, or elderly families that are very busy um, that don't want to worry about scooping poop on their day off or people that just kind of don't like to do this type of chore at home and they're happy to kind of like take that off their chore list and we can kind of take care of that for them. Um, so I, I see it as we provide our clients like more time so they can spend it on more valuable things um like taking their dog for a walk or spending more time with their friends and family members um so yeah i think we at poop scoop utah kind of provide more valuable time for pet owners and then of course we um keep our community clean and waste free um that's of course a big part of what we do for our community so we do residential commercial and public areas like parks um, so we are going to be volunteering our time at local dog parks or popular dog friendly walking trails throughout Utah. So, um, you know, our mission here is to kind of keep a clean and waste free environment to our communities. Um, and then we also support uh, the Utah Humane Society. Um, so we donate to them because, of course, we support um, their mission with finding forever homes for the animals that are in need in Utah as well. So, yeah. Really, yeah, they're, they're one of my favorites to work with. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be going to um, their Wags to Wishes Gala um, here in November. And that's our first year that Poop Scoop Utah is going to be a sponsor and um, we're pretty excited to, to be a part of that. So we are definitely a huge supporters of them. Um, and we, yeah, we're excited to, to be a part of uh, that event this year. Yeah, yeah, I am too. They asked me to donate a package that oh. includes um, one of my new painterly canvases, like the one you see behind me. That's awesome. Um, I didn't know so, that. And it, and it will... Uh, it will hang in the lobby uh, for a year. And then the person who wins it, um, you know, it'll be a family portrait or a portrait of their dog. Um, and they'll be able to take it home after a year. 
that's so awesome. That's, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, that is really exciting stuff. That yeah, congratulations on that. That's really cool. Thanks. Thanks. So is your service specifically for dog owners or do you um, extend your assistance with uh, other pets as well? Yeah, um, that's a great question. So we have picked up um, waste from other animals. So we actually participated in the Days of 47 Parade um, a couple of years back and we helped with the waste removal on the streets during the parade for the horses. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then we do have some clients that have cats. So if we're there kind of assisting with the waste removal for their dogs and they have cats and they want help with that, um, we have no problem uh, helping with the waste removal for their cats. And we did recently this year, um, the aquarium in Draper asked us if we could do the waste removal for like the geese because it gets pretty bad. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, and I've noticed that. So they called us up and we're like, oh, I know that you kind of just focus on dogs, but can you help us with the waste removal for the geese? And we're like, yeah, we would love to do that. So, you know, even though our focus is on the dog waste removal, if we can clean it up with our pooper scooper equipment, like our scoopers use, like we would be happy to do that. So, so yeah. There are several parks here in Salt Lake City that could use that service. Oh, I know. And that's why, why we're focusing kind of on that volunteer work because there's a few of our clients who are like, can you like focus on these public parks? I'm like, yeah, that's just kind of our way of giving back. So we're actually going to be starting to do that. So we're excited about it. Very cool. Can you share some stories about how your business has affected some uh, the lives of some pet owners, um, yeah. especially in terms of their relationship with their pets? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I would say like how we affect our pet owners' lives is kind of providing that consistent waste-free yard because, you know, we do offer one and two times per week cleanups. And a lot of the feedback we get from our clients is they really appreciate how we help them keep their yard consistently clean because sometimes, you know, families are really busy and it could be like, okay, we can clean this week, but next week is super busy. And, you know, so we just have heard that um, they appreciate how it's consistently clean. So it definitely leaves our clients happy. And um, of course, it keeps the dogs healthy with um, a cons consistent waste-free yard. So, yeah. Great. Yeah, I've heard, uh, I've heard from some of your clients that... Um, your pooper scoopers are are really helpful in other things. I think one of them told me that um, the fellow helped bring in their garbage one time or multiple yeah. times. Yeah, but not yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you got a good reputation around town, from what I've heard. That's awesome. Yeah, we try to keep the best customer service as possible, and we have really good you know, scoopers in the community that like genuinely really, really love dogs. And, you know, if they see things like, yeah, I'll we'll take your garbage out. I, I love hearing that because, you know, I've met a lot of the scoopers um, and they're really good people. And it's awesome that we provide, you know, those flexible jobs, you know, to, to them. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, how do your, how do your scoopers handle situations where they have to deal with aggressive or hard to handle dogs? Oh, for sure. Um, yeah. So like here at Poop Scoop Utah, like we understand, like we're going into the dog's territory when we're doing our cleanups, you know, sometimes dogs can have a bad reaction towards that, which is completely understandable. Um, so when we sign up a new client, one of the questions that we ask is if the dog has access to the backyard at all times, um, because we do take our, you know, safety for our scoopers very seriously. And so we just ask the clients, like if they could have the dogs inside or locked up during the cleanings just for safety reasons. But 
you know, if the scooper, you know, has the opportunity to meet the clients and the dogs together and they're all comfortable, like we do leave that decision up to the scooper if they would be comfortable when the dogs are outside um, during the cleanups. We also text our clients that we're on our way so they get the heads up if they do need to bring their dogs inside if that's the most comfortable situation for them as well. So so yeah, we we uh we understand that is a possibility. Um you know, they come to my house every week. Um my dog, he he definitely barks quite a bit and it's like it's I get it. Like that is his yard. <laughs> And he might not be okay with that. And we totally understand that. So that's kind of some of the protocols um, that we like to take um, when we're working in their dog's territory. Now, our dogs, they forget people are here from minute to minute. So <laughs> I totally <laughs> get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you collaborate with any other pet-centric businesses or services here in Utah? Yeah. Um, yes, we have been trying to collaborate more and more um, with other pet related businesses here in Utah. Um, so we just started this business referral program just this year, just recently. And we're, we are trying to reward um, other pet related businesses that would like to share our services with our clients. So what we would be doing is like setting up a referral link that's tied to that business. So every time we get a new client from them, we will reward them for it. Um, so we're pretty excited about that because we get quite a bit of businesses that are like, we can collaborate together. Like our clients are the same. And I think it's just really important to support each other. Um, and I thought this would be like a fun way of doing that. And if, they are participating in the referral program with us, then we do have our scoopers hand out flyers and door hangers to our customers while they're out on their routes, um, which is also a benefit for them. And, you know, on social media, if, if you're on our Facebook or Instagram, you know, we do collaborate with influencers on social media. So um, if they, if you know of a pet related page, or if you do have one, like we would love to collaborate with you. Um, and I, it's okay if I share my email. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Please. Okay. So if you, if you're interested in collaborating with us, just email me directly. And that is at media, M E D I A at poopscooputah.com. So just reach out to me directly and then hopefully we can kind of work together um, in one way or another. So, so yeah. yeah. I've been, I've been thinking about doing something similar. Oh um, yeah. I think it, it's so important, um, to work together and it's nice that me and you are working together. And so, yeah, I think it's really important to, to kind of support each other and, um, yeah. A rising tide, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so finally, for all the pet owners who are keen to get your services, what's the best way for them to contact you? Yeah, so if they're interested in our services, so you can either call or text us, um, which you can, of course, find this number on our website, but it is 801-382-9745. Um, and we'll be happy to get you on our schedule, give you a quote, answer any questions. And then you can also go on our website to look at our pricing and sign up as well. And that is hoopscooputah.com. Um, and then feel free to go on there and contact us. You know, if you want to text or call, that would work as well. Awesome. Awesome. Um, just a couple more questions. I know I used the word finally. But there's always one more. <laughs> yeah. How do you guys find your pooper scoopers? And are you hiring right now? Yeah. Um, so we find our pooper scoopers kind of in a few different ways. Like word of mouth from other scoopers is a big one. How we can find um, new scoopers. 
We also have like job listings on job search websites. We can share it on social media. And then we do have job listings on our website as well. So you can go to poopscoopyutah.com slash jobs and it will show like what jobs are available right now. Great. Um, Once you have identified a, a new scooper, how do you train them to work with people and their dogs? Are you looking for people who have previous experience with dogs? Oh yeah, that's our, definitely our number one thing is just being comfortable around dogs. Um, So new scoopers are usually trained by the team lead in their area, and then they will team up on the jobs, make sure they're trained and they feel comfortable before they tackle their, like their own cleanups. Um, And then once they're trained, they'll have their own route. And then, like I said, majority of like the scoopers that we hire, they either have their own dogs. So they are comfortable being around other dogs as well. And then training videos and material, we also send the new scoopers to review as well. So anything that we can make them feel really comfortable with, um, we do that. Great. What does an average day look like for one of your employees? Yeah. Um, So once a scooper is trained, then they are assigned a route for the day. Um, So all scoopers kind of sign into the app on their phone where they see like their schedule and they select the first job and then they kind of go down that list. So the app will, will provide like the location and any job notes that are needed to complete the cleanup. So, um, like so for example some customers only need to focus on certain areas of their yard like i only have to worry about my backyard because my dog doesn't go in the front yard so those are kind of notes that we give the scoopers and then once the job is completed they will kind of place that waste bag in the owner owner's garbage can and then they'll mark that job complete in the app and then they'll move on to the next job and until their route is done for the day so yeah And how do they maintain a safe and hygienic environment during the poop scooping process? Right. So we always ask our scoopers to clean their equipment regularly um, to provide that safe and hygienic environment for our customers and their dogs. So um, just to kind of give the customer um, more confidence, we also ask, like, if you feel more comfortable with providing like the pooper scooper equipment and we just kind of leave it in a place where the scooper can grab it and they'll just use their equipment during the cleanings. Um, Sometimes our, our customers love that and it kind of gives them even more confidence. Like it's um, we're providing that safe hygienic environment that they are needing for their dogs. So, yeah, Yeah, that's great. Cause it's really, that's really important with the rise of canine influenza and all kinds of other bugs that are running around now. Yeah, I agree with you. Like we work with a lot of like, um, breed, well, I wouldn't say a lot of breeders, but we have some clients that are dog breeders. So they don't want to pass any germs through their puppies and, you know, definitely understand. So we always say like, even though we ask our scoopers to do it, it's just kind of that hundred percent confidence guarantee. It's like, well, let's use your equipment and while we do the cleanings and then as like, there's no question you know questions asked like it's going to be clean for you so and they love that and it's kind of like that easy accommodation and everyone's kind of happy with that okay cool so you are hiring if if anybody's looking for a job that's really flexible um please visit their website at poopscoopyutah.com slash jobs Um, they are always looking for great scoopers to join their team. And that pretty much wraps up the questions I had for you, Amanda. Thank you so much for being the first guest on my little show. (laughs) Oh, I'm happy to be, you know, doing this interview with you, Kim. You're awesome. Your work is remarkable. And I love seeing like the pictures that you post on Instagram and, yeah, we just, we love you and we're happy to do a collaboration with you. We'll, we're, we're here to support one another and um, yeah, I'm happy to do this interview with you.
Oh, great. It's been fun. A little nerve wracking, right? But fun. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, we will see you around town at the different dogs events and certainly at the Utah Humane Wags for Wishes Gala. Awesome. Like in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, we will see much. you there. We look forward to it. Thank you so much, Kim. Bye now. See ya.